Hercules Mulligan. <laughs> highly requested. A lot of you wanted to see a part two of my Hamilton inspired clothing. You asked and I answered. And this time I have five characters for you. Technically three of them share a very similar outfit with different accessories, but there are five characters that I have ready for you today. So let's start with one of my favorite characters, Thomas Jefferson. In the show, Thomas Jefferson is played by V. Diggs and he has this incredible purple velvet outfit. It's very elegant. You can tell that Jefferson really cares about his appearance and likes to dress like he's fake royalty. Used his own insult against him. Boom. So the main part of my Jefferson outfit is this velvet top dress thing. It's not quite a dress, not quite a top. It's kind of a meet in the middle. This luxurious purple velvet. It has really high slits up to about like the hip area. So I do wear just a standard pair of black leggings under it, though I think I could get away with um, white leggings. For now, I just happen to have black leggings. It's very luxurious and elegant and soft and velvety. <laughs> and then to pull in the other colors that Jefferson wears, I got a clutch. It's this clutch from Forever 21. This is also from Forever 21. And it just kind of pulls in that other color as an accessory. It's just a wallet clutch purse. Um, there's a zip pocket and a couple of card slots and stuff. But I think that when they're together, it really ties in the whole Jefferson look. All of you guys let me know what the little fluffy thing that the Founding Fathers wear is called in my last video. It's called a cravat. So to incorporate the cravat with Jefferson, I just paired it with a white feather necklace. I think this necklace is from Wet Seal. I got it forever ago. I'm talking years ago. It has a lot of charms and gems and shiny things, and I feel like Jefferson is just really into shiny things and showing that he is wealthy. So I thought this was a different way to sort of tie in the little cravat thing. So overall, Jefferson's look is really exquisite and refined and simple and just luxurious. Next up, we have Miss Mariah Reynolds. Now this one on the website, it looked like the perfect color, but when it came, it's kind of off, but I think it still works, and I really do like the style of it for Mariah, so I'm just gonna go with it. So we have this dress from Boohoo. It's just a shift dress, and it has these like lace overlays? I don't know what to call them, but there's lace in the middle of the sleeve, and it's long, and they're kind of flared out. The color is technically rust. I think it comes across more like pinkish reddish in person, but it still works, it's still rust. I paired it with a simple gold headband from Forever 21. I feel like it's just pretty and it sort of fits the time period with the way that the sleeves are and the gold headband just gives it that little something. I could definitely see Mariah wearing this. This last look I have for you is shared by three characters. I am of course talking about the revolutionaries Lawrence Mulligan and Lafayette. I found this blue blazer from boohoo.com. It has shoulder pads, which I thought was really interesting. Wasn't expecting shoulder pads, but it's very structured. It has these sort of like ruched sleeves. Is ruched the word you use? I think it is. It makes me feel so powerful when I put it on. Like I feel like I could go conquer the world or win the battle of Yorktown. So you pair this with the pants. Under the blazer, you could put the blouse that I used for my Alexander Hamilton outfit in the last video, but just for a different look, I paired it with this simple white tank top from boohoo.com. It's very flowy, and that's great in contrast to the tailored pants and the tailored blazer, and it also gives room for the accessories to really stand out. I give each of the revolutionaries their own accessory that kind of just gives a hint to who they are. For Mulligan, I got this thick black headband. When I put this on, I'm just like, I got the eye of the tiger. <laughs> That didn't go as planned. You know what I mean? Like in movies and stuff, they always tie something around their head. They're like, duh, 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 duh. And I'm pretty sure that Oak does wear something very similar to this in the show. He definitely has something around his head. If you look up Hamilton the Musical on Google, the images come up, and when the three revolutionaries are together, I did see something very similar to this. So, I, so I'm definitely a big fan of this thick headband from Forever 21 for Hercules Mulligan. Mulligan's look is very tough. He's so ready to go. I love the way this looks. And when I put this on, I feel like I should just be like, Hercules Mulligan! Next we have Lafayette. Obviously Lafayette is from France, he has the French accent. So I want the classic Eiffel Tower necklace and it has some blue gems. You can't see it on camera, I'm pretty positive. It's just an Eiffel Tower necklace, pulls in the blue and gives a shout out to his home country. So the same outfit as Mulligan but with a little accent of French culture. It's the little accessories that make them different from each other. And last but not least, we have John Lawrence in the place to be with two quite the same manners, but I'm working on all three, what? Now some of you are gonna be like, what, I don't even, why would you do this, Jada? But this makes perfect sense to me, so you're gonna like it. 
Okay, so for Lawrence, I got him a best friend necklace that he can share with Hamilton. Aww. So they're magnetic and then they come apart and they can each have one. I can picture it now. Lawrence lovingly looking at Hamilton hands him the necklace. Hamilton takes it and holds it close to his heart and oh my gosh, they're in love. It's highly appropriate. I just, I am proud of this find. I'm trying to get them to stick together. <laughs> And that concludes part two of my Hamilton-inspired outfits. This is a great way to release all that built-up energy you have from fangirling into the world. Go to school, rock these outfits, show your Hamilton pride. And if you ever come up with your own Hamilton-inspired outfit, send it to me on Twitter. I would love to see what you come up with. All of my social media links are below, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr. Feel free to reach out to me there or send me photos of you in Hamilton outfits or whatever you want. Just talk to me, people. I love you guys. Speaking of loving you guys, I love you all. Stay beautiful, you people. Bye! Bye, 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 bye. That was a really weird bye. I don't know if I like that. Bye! <laughs> That's a little better. <laughs>